Today's video is being brought to you by datatechnologyllc.com. This is a company based in Dallas, Texas. We focus on search engine optimization, Google AdWords, Google Analytics, and social media marketing for small to medium-sized businesses. Uh, if you want to know, you can uh, check us out. Uh, here is our website, uh, datatechnologyllc.com, and there is more information on uh, what we can help you with. But anyway, today uh, our topic is really uh, search engine optimization in 2016 and specifically we are going to focus this video on Google AdWords overview and really what's new in this product from Google. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. Before we, we get going, I really want to cover some of the key terms that have to do with Google AdWords. Uh, you may be already familiar with some of these, but if you are brand new, I would like to uh, highlight some of the important topics. Um, so the first one is really uh, based on the structure of Google AdWords. This is going to be the campaign. Uh, you can have one or many campaigns within an AdWords account. Uh, really, uh, we are going to cover more about this, um, uh, the, the structure in the next slide, but think of a campaign as a way to organize your campaign. Maybe you sell uh, three products, uh, mobile phones, um, uh, pagers that nobody buys anymore and uh, let's say uh, maybe blackberries and you wanna you wanna split those into three different campaigns that's what you would like to do now within within the campaign you can have uh, one or more ad groups so this is really a the second uh, level I guess uh, and going back to the uh, you know the, the same product let's say you're focused on your cell phones and you may have an ad group that uh, primarily sells iPhones uh, you want to sell iPhones under that and the other one maybe let's say you have Samsung so you would what you would do is you would create two separate ad groups one for the iPhone and one for the Samsung now under the ad group you have two different items you have uh, keywords this is really uh, you know what drives the whole Google AdWords it's going to be a set of uh, you know one or more keywords that are going to be focused on one product or service and then related to the keywords are going to be the actual Google ad. So in other words, when somebody searches for an iPhone, uh, you want to show them your ad and that ad will obviously be focused on uh, iPhone, uh, whichever version of iPhone are you selling. So this all works in conjunction. We will uh, look at this more in our second slide, but I just want to cover the basics. Uh, so moving on, the next thing is the daily budget. This is obviously important. Uh, this is the amount of dollars that you are willing to spend per day at the campaign level. So you have to remember when you're talking about the daily budget, this has to do with with the campaign level. So which is remember the higher higher uh, component in the AdWords campaign. Um, the next is obviously the headline, and I've highlighted this um, with an underline because this is extremely important. This is going to be the first line of your Google ad. This is limited to 25 characters, so which means that you have to be uh, pretty creative to capture um, the visitor's imagination. As you know, uh, when people are searching, uh, they're, they're definitely suffering from extreme ADD and they're gonna, going to make a split-second decision. If you want to capture their attention, you've got to focus on, on this headline and probably you know it's worth spending some time on it. So I just wanted to mention that. The next thing is CPC, which is uh, stands for cost per click. Uh, this is basically a model where, you know, essentially anytime somebody clicks on your ad, that is when you are going to be, get charged. Uh, so again, this is the cost of, uh, you know, when your ad is clicked. This is based on what's called PPC, which is called pay per click, which essentially is AdWords. Uh, PPC is one of the different um, and one of the many advertising models, but this is where Google AdWords um, is, is focused on essentially that they can show you the ads for free, but when somebody clicks on your ad, that's when uh, you will get charged. The next thing is CT, uh, CTR, which is extremely important. Also, this is called the click-through rate. Essentially, uh, for AdWords, it is going to be the number of clicks divided by the impressions, which are the views. So let's say your ads were shown a thousand times and you were clicked, uh, your ad was clicked 10 times. So your CTR would be 10 divided by a thousand. And if you do the percent on that, that is going to be 1%, which ironically is the average CTR uh, for a Google AdWords campaign. If your 
uh, Google AdWords is uh, let's say 0.5%, uh, that would be considered below average. And if you're doing something like 3%, then definitely that's great. And then that's when uh, you know, you're, you're doing something um, uh, way above average. Moving on, we have the landing page. This is the actual target URL that is reached when your ad is clicked on. And then finally, quality score, which is a key metric that determines your ad rank, which means that where does your ad uh, lie when you, do, uh, when you do a Google search. So let me, maybe I can show you this. So if I go to Google and I search for iPhone, let's say, and <clears throat> here are the, uh, my resolution uh, is a little bit lower, but let me just go on to, let's say, Let's search for iPhone price. Um, I'm trying to find it, a page with lots of ads on them. Let's just try. Uh, okay, I'm not getting the best. Uh, let me just do an iPhone 6. Let me try something else. Let me try car insurance. I don't see a lot of ads for iPhone. Uh, but here you go. See, see your ads on the right side. So these are the ads and the ranking, you know, is affected by many things, including the uh, quality score. So that is that is what I was talking about. Your quality score really is based on CTR, which we mentioned is the click through rate, your actual ad, your keywords and the relevance of uh, these items to your landing page. OK, so th those are the terms. Next, I want to cover the. Uh, the really the basic AdWords structure, like I mentioned here uh, on the left side, I'm showing you that under a campaign, you're going to have uh, one or many ad groups. Again, think of an ad group focused on a product or service. And under that, you're going to have the, the keywords. And whenever those keywords are searched, your your relevant ads will, uh, will pop up. So these two things work in conjunction. Uh, one of the secrets of doing well in AdWords is going to be, uh, you know, use a focused approach. A lot of people, what they do is they create one campaign, one ad group, a uh, bunch of keywords, and they they all, you know, have them look at one ad, and when person clicks on the ad, it takes them to the the home page. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, here I have an example which didn't work too well on Google, but uh, really, let's say you're selling iPhones, you will have an iPhone ad group, and then under under that, you may have a keyword called, let's say, iPhone 6S or 5S or something like that, and when people are searching for that, uh, you know, they, they get to your ad, which will say something along the lines of, uh, buy this iPhone or you may have a special or something along those lines, okay? So that is the AdWords uh, structure uh, at a very basic level. The next uh, part um, I'm going to do is we're going to do two more things. I wanna show you a, uh, a demo account in AdWords to go over some of the items. And then the last thing uh, in this video is going to be covering on you know what's new with AdWords and I'm going to highlight some of those features. So just, just giving you a little preview of what's about to come. But anyway, uh, for our account today, we are going to be using one of my clients. Uh, their, their short name is uh, APICS, which is the Association for Operations Management. Uh, here's their website, which we will take a look at uh, in a minute. And uh, right now I'm running um, three active campaigns on their website. We are using multiple ad groups and multiple keywords. So uh, let's let's go ahead and check uh, check this out. Uh, let's spend a little bit of time understanding on how the AdWords is laid out. So let me switch to the um, to the web. Um, before I go into the campaign, um, I'm going to just mention here's their website. They have a nice uh, little picture of Dallas uh, downtown here, and you can see that uh, you know there's more information on the company, what they do. Uh, primarily, they are a nonprofit that is focused on educating people about different areas, including uh, supply chain management and some of these business topics that um, I unfortunately do not know a lot about. My background is in IT, but uh, anyway, you uh, you are welcome to check it out. So, in a, in order to go to AdWords, I'm already logged in here. But in case you don't know, you're going to go to Google.com/slash/AdWords, and that will that should take you to this website and um, once you click on sign in it should take you to the account you do have to sign up for this this is not automatic just because you have a gmail account does not mean you're going to have an adwords account so be 
be uh, you know be aware of that but here we go uh, here I'm logged into the AdWords campaign uh, everything is pretty much broken by tabs so you'll notice that up here you know we have the uh, <clears throat> this is kind of like the home tab uh, basically it's an overview of their campaign the campaign for the last 30 days uh, they've had uh, 19,000 uh, impressions 183 clicks uh, the CTR is uh, almost 1%, which I said is average. Here's their cost. So we're going to dig deeper into this, but I want you to understand that everything in AdWords is broken by the tabs. Now, once you're in, under campaign, this is where you're going to see majority of your information. So again, you can see that if I slide down here, uh, I'm running, uh, I'm looking at the campaign information right now. I have three active campaigns, okay? and two inactive campaigns. So this uh, CPM campaign, it's running uh, with a budget of $50 a day. We're using the search network. And uh, you know, in the last, uh, <clears throat> if you look at our data, we're looking at last 30 days, we have had 144 clicks, um, 11,000 uh, impressions, and here's the CTR. So you can clearly see that this campaign is doing a lot better than these uh, the next two campaigns. You can see it's 1.2% uh, compared to the other one and so on and so forth so so that is the campaign level the next uh, what we can maybe do is we can focus on this particular campaign so if I click here it is going to take